we got uh, approached by a member of the community who said, my last name is Monroe, right. and I think I have a connection. Right. My ancestors were enslaved there. Right. And so that conversation began. And um, through time then, uh, via a mutual friend, I was introduced to another member of that extended family, and we slowly grew into a collaborative relationship, and now we have a council of descendant advisors who um, work with us on questions of research and interpretation um, and, and direction of where we want to go. And that, that first spark came out of the news of our change. Um, and so in um, our, our research efforts and in, in the, the themes and the tones, the word choices of how we interpret the history, um, the council works through. And in, in the, the moments, moments is probably the wrong word, the extended time of racial reckoning that we're in, having a group of descendants whose ancestors were either enslaved at Highland or worked there after the Civil War, um, to really confer and to create the way forward. What is the right path? What is the right, what is a right way? Of course, there are many right ways to interpret these uh, difficult histories, but um, we have allies who are working hard with us and having the, the hard conversations. Um, and so uh, we see an uh, image of a, a research meeting um, and also a, a public event where a, a panel of descendants met with um, city school staff, teachers, and other personnel um, over the course of two days. Um, this, is, this, I think, was our last pre-COVID in-person event, so March of 2020, um, with the city school, Charlottesville City Schools coming to say, how do we have these conversations about slavery and its legacies today?